yo yo what is up so in this tutorial uh i wanted to go over quickly how you can do um road splines so you know you can go into your landscape add a spline and then click around to uh you know make curvy roads and they all connect and such um it's pretty easy so let's hop into it all right so all i've done here is i've created a new project and yeah so we're just going to go up here to file. We're going to make a new level. Uh, I'm going to do an open world level. I'm going to create. And I'm just going to go over here to the uh, landscape. I'm going to clear out all of this landscape stuff. Delete it. Then we'll go up here uh, and we'll go to landscape. And uh, let me just boost camera speed up a little bit so we can move around a little faster. Alright, so I'm just gonna, for now, go into starter content, go into materials. I'm gonna grab this ground grass, throw it up here. I'm gonna make our landscape um, 127 by 127. I'm also gonna do 2 by 2. We're just gonna create that. Cool. Now we got a landscape, we got some grass on it. Uh, then I'm gonna go back up to selection mode, and I'm gonna go up to uh, third person. Um, what I'm gonna do here is just add in a uh, a road model that I made. So I'm gonna make a new folder called models. I'm gonna come into here, and I'm gonna find my road model. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this guy. So I got this guy. I'm gonna pull it in, and all I'm gonna do here is uh, we're gonna grab a material from mega scans the one that i'm going to be using i'm just going to search road uh fine american road i'm just going to grab this guy and add it in and then let's open our road right here and add that material i'm also going to go ahead and make it nanite apply save all right, so we got our road in here. So next, uh, let's just tweak the size of the, of our uh, tiling here. I'm gonna make this. Uh, let's try point nine. Uh, let's do one point nine five on the X and one point nine five on the Y, and we can see the material fits inside our road here. Also, something else, um, if you download this road here, I'm just going to save real quick. Save the level. So, uh, just to show you real quick, um, we'll go to landscape. We'll go ahead and make our road splines. So, we'll go to our uh, manage tab right here. You'll see uh, we have splines right here. We'll click on splines. And then you'll have these edit layers. You'll see right now we already have a layer called layer. We're going to right click on that. We're going to create. And then I'm going to rename this guy. Uh, splines. Then we're going to re uh, right click on our splines layer. And I'm going to reserve for splines. Like that. Click yes. So once you're in this mode, all you need to do to create a spline is you uh, hold control on your keyboard and click. And you'll see we will get this guy right here. And then you can uh, click anywhere else, hold control and click anywhere else. And you'll see we get this big old line. And this is uh, this is basically our spline. So you click around, you can see it's already doing the cool road spline things. Uh, you might get these weird little things like that. You can just click on the uh, the control point here and rotate it. Same with over here. We just click on this guy rotate this guy around you can see we get the, the the nice curve but now we need to add our road mesh so how we're going to do that is if you go over here in your details panel uh just click segments and you'll see down here spline meshes we're gonna click the plus button right here and i'm gonna find our road so if you use the mesh that i provided um it's it's a little wonky because of the rotation um so what we're going to do to fix that is I'm just going to go to our road mesh here and pull this guy in. Uh, go back to selection mode. And I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. 
like that. Then I'm just gonna go up here to actor, merge actor. Uh, replace sure. We go back to third person models, and we're just gonna call this road two. That way the rotation is correct. But yeah, with the one right now, it's rotated wrong, so you get these weird little, you know, creases in the road. It makes it not smooth. We're gonna go back up to landscape. Click on our splines here. And then we're going to go back up to segments. And we're just going to replace this with our road 2. And you'll see. Uh, it has smoothed out, but the material is not correct. So let's fix our material. So go back to our fine American road. Click on this guy. We're going to go to rotation angle. And we're going to set this to 0 0.25. And voila, that's fixed. Also, the material might be a little bit off. You see, like, it's on this side is a little thinner than this side. So, I'm going to go back into here into offset X and put this to 0.1. Or, let's see, let's do 0.01. Oh, do 0. Uh, 0.015. Pretty good, like that. All of that is good now. And yeah, as you can see, we got um, a road. The splines are working. The road looks decent. And we can add spline points to this by just control clicking, control click. You can also pull this guy up and it will affect the landscape. Like the landscape will follow it. And you can, you know, click down, it'll fall down. Come down this way, you can pull it down. It'll also go into the landscape. Click around. And we'll just connect this guy back here real quick. All the way back. And then we'll fix some of these things right here. Just rotate this guy around. And we'll rotate this guy around. Um, pull it up a bit. For some reason the offset there is... Not great. Yeah, it's got to, you know, tweak some things and it will. Uh, so for something like this, uh, since we're already clicked on this specific control point, uh, there's this mesh vertical offset over here on the details panel. You can pull this guy up and, you know, control where it sits. Um, also, you could do the same thing on any of them. Uh, you can also do the same thing. If you go here and choose control points, this will select all of the control points. And if you do mesh vertical offset now and do like 500, you can see all of it changes. Um, we're just going to undo that for now, though. That's fine. Also, something else that is a little strange is, you know, if you go up in your landscape right here, there's a hard fall off right here. You can control it. Uh, that we're just gonna click control points, and there is a a side fall off right here. I'm gonna make this say four thousand, and you see it it kind of clears up some of that harsh harsh uh fall off that we had. Uh, let's try seven thousand, smooth that out a bit more. We also got to be careful because you know it can do some weird things like this. Um. And same here, you can, you know, control the fall off of the individual control points. So, like over here, we have, you know, not so hard of a fall off over here. We can make the uh, fall off a little bit more harsh. Get kind of some of these, you know, cool little canyons and stuff, I guess. Um, we'll soften that up a bit, though. Also, you can control the uh, the width of your road with a half width here. So if we make this 2,000, you'll see the road gets much more wide, much wider. And, uh, you know, there's some other settings in here too, like the, uh, the half width here. Um, yeah, like we got left side fall off factor. Uh... Factors, let's see, what does this do? Yeah, you can kind of control. It's only controlling this left side. You know? And with the right side, you can do the same thing. 
it'll change just one side. Um, and let's see. End fall off. What is this one? Not too sure what the end fall off is, but you can play with that and figure out what it does. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool little settings you can mess with, and yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. It's a pretty simple little thing to do. Like I said, I will leave a uh, link in the description where you can get the uh, the road mesh, or you know, you can make your own or get your own if you already have some. Very easy to do. Um, something I would recommend with this mesh though is that there's a hard fall off here. I probably would recommend on a lot of these control points is uh, you know change the mesh vertical offset so it's not so boxy right there you know bring it into the ground a bit looks a little bit better you know let's go to your control points and just fix those points you know look a lot nicer but uh yeah that's kind of it so if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.